Uh, I am uh, specialized in early school education uh, in uh, methods of uh, active learning and uh, teaching uh, according to uh, constructivism. And uh, during this meeting and uh, workshops, I don't want to uh, teach you about uh, birds. It isn't possible. <laughs> But I would like to teach you how to encourage children uh, how to be interested in birds. It's very, uh, it's very important. The title of my presentation is Constructing of Natural Science for Children, Introduction to the Method. Uh, this presentation is uh, about uh, constructivism theory of uh, education. And uh, during this presentation, um, I would like to explain to you uh, what is constructivism and uh, how to apply uh, constructivism. Uh, in the frame uh, work of my presentation, uh, I have uh, included a, a few points. You can see this on the slide. Uh, and uh, I have uh, divided uh, uh, it into two parts. First part is about uh, children, uh, about their silhouette, uh, silhouette and their uh, potential. Uh, and second part uh, about uh, constructivism uh, in uh, education. Um, so, um, if we uh, want to uh, teach uh, about uh, constructivism, we uh, should know uh, about uh, children's attitude uh, towards uh, nature. Uh, children um, in a relation with nature are they are very interested uh, in, in nature. They have uh, a lot of uh, question, various question. Uh, question about uh, animate nature and uh, about uh, inanimate uh, nature. They uh, want to know something about bacteria, mushrooms, plants, animals. Uh, about uh, water, air, natural resources. Uh, so they want to, to do something. They want to uh, observe, uh, they want to do experiments. So we uh, have good opportunity uh, to um, use this uh, potential. Uh, uh, in the past, one of the most important person uh, for constructivists, uh, Jean Piaget, uh, um, has uh, written about children's right of interest. Uh, children, uh, uh, you know, uh, I told you, children are interested in, in nature. They want to know everything, sometimes everything. Uh, they um, ask a question and um, we as a teacher, uh, we, we have to uh, discover uh, and discover children potential uh, and uh, follow children interest and what is more uh, important uh, uh, we have to treat children's interest uh, as a core uh, activities during classes. It is very important because uh, uh, in this way we foster their motivation and uh, we can avoid uh, boredom and use effective amazement. It is really, uh, it's really uh, important. Okay, so uh, there are many uh, approaches uh, to the process of uh, education. Uh, for example, lecturing, uh, problem solving, uh, evaluating, and uh, practical uh, application. But according uh, to constructivism theory of education, 
the most suitable uh, to the process of children education are active methods uh, uh, like problem solving, practical application uh, or evaluating with improvising, uh, performance, uh, drama, etc. Uh, because uh, uh, these methods help children to learn with understanding and uh, in manner uh, which is uh, interest, interesting for them. Uh, so, uh, the most uh, important issue is to find uh, uh, a good uh, method for child and a range of interesting tasks for, for them. And I think that uh, constructivism uh, can help us uh, to do it. Uh, because what is constructivism? Uh, when I uh, try to describe uh, constructivism, uh, I use, uh, I often use uh, four uh, topic. Uh, it is active student, a creative teacher, learning with understanding and passion, and dynamic, uh, dynamic uh, knowledge. Uh, it's really uh, important to remember about uh, these four points, topics, uh, issues. Uh, and uh, how how can we uh, how can we do it? First of all, uh, first of all, we have to change our thinking uh, about our students. Uh, not uh, as uh, incompetent, but uh, as a researcher, discoverer, constructor uh, of their own uh, knowledge. Ch uh, children want to be active. And during our classes, children should be active. Not, not me. We, um, we should... Uh, avoid the uh, leading role of teacher. We uh, should uh, help children to be active during uh, our, uh, our classes. Second, uh, secondly, uh, we have to change our thinking about ourselves. Uh, we need to be creative, uh, we need to be um, a good organizer of teaching learning uh, process. We should have a bank of uh, ideas which can be inspiration for children. Uh, they need interests, possibilities. And uh, the third element is the process of education and methods. Uh, it means uh, learning with understanding and uh, uh, using constructivism we have to uh, replace traditional methods of education with uh, active methods of uh, education interesting for children and uh, for example uh, we have uh, to replace uh, passive uh, fact retention with research and uh, exploration. Uh, we have uh, to replace uh, competition with cooperation between children and between children and teacher. Uh, we have uh, to replace lecturing with problem solving uh, approaches. Um, what, what more? We have to uh, replace teacher talking with dialogue, interaction, and own po point of view uh, children. Uh, so, uh, on uh, this slide, you, you have a few examples how to apply constructivism in the uh, class. Uh, it's very important uh, creating problems, taking into 
uh, account children's potential, we have to remember about children's potential, about children's abilities, about their own experience, possibilities, needs. It's the main point uh, of, uh, it's, in my opinion, it's, uh, I, I am not sure it's a good uh, starting point, first point of our activity, children's needs, interest, possibilities. And uh, now uh, I would like to present you uh, a few methods uh, which you can use uh, according to constructivism theory of uh, education. Uh, for example, uh, games. Why games? Uh, because um, uh, it's uh, an uh, educational method, uh, method which uh, combines pleasure and entertainment, uh, which uh, facilitates learning process uh, and uh, foster cooperation and help competition. And uh, there are uh, many kinds of, of games, board games, card games, mind games, puzzles, riddles, uh, educa uh, educational quizzes, computer games, and uh, a lot of online materials, etc. Uh, but uh, uh, what is uh, the most uh, Im important? Good game uh, should be uh, interesting uh, uh, for a child. Uh, for example, graphics, idea, task, uh, a uh, good game um, help us uh, uh, to um, foster motivation and prevent from uh, boredom. And uh, now I would like to show you a few examples of uh, games. This is a game which of these animals are birds. For example, uh, in our uh, teaching ma materials uh, we can find word uh, grid uh, with uh, sentences. Um, in our teaching um, materials uh, we can find uh, examples of uh, outdoor games like like this so games are very useful are very interesting and you uh, can uh, you can suggest uh, children uh, various form of games or you uh, can hear their proposals or you can use our teaching uh, materials and uh, Another uh, method uh, of, uh, uh, from uh, constructivism theory of education is problem-solving uh, approach. I think that uh, according to constructivism, it is the, one of the most important methods. Uh, why? Uh, because uh, problem uh, is a um, kind of task for uh, which uh, for child is new, uh, interesting, sometimes strange, sometimes funny, uh, but um, uh, in the problem-solving approach uh, we don't know how to transform a point of departure into a desired point of uh, arrival. We uh, have to be creative, we have to find interesting and good uh, uh, and good uh, solution uh, so uh, if if we want to use uh, problem solving situation of organizing problem solving uh, uh, situation uh, we have uh, to involve uh, we have to encourage children activity with interesting, uh, interesting task. And for this slide, you have examples of uh, problem-solving questions. Uh, 
uh, you, you can have a look at this uh, question. There are a lot of various uh, questions about uh, birds, uh, uh, their life. Uh, for example, examples. Uh, the next slide uh, with uh, examples of uh, problem uh, problem solving uh, uh, question. Uh, what is uh, what uh, you should know that uh, examples of problem solving uh, question should be for children new, complex, ambiguity. Uh, sometimes they uh, have to have ga gaps in the available information and what is uh, most important uh, should provoke cognitive uh, dissonance. Uh, another example uh, of constructivism theory of uh, education uh, are worksheets. What is worksheet? Um, worksheet uh, is a kind of uh, it's a task for children uh, and uh, it's a visual presentation of a, a task and uh, when we uh, build worksheets uh, we have uh, to describe a task we have to describe necessary materials and stages of the uh, and stages of the uh, task. But uh, in a moment, I uh, I'm going uh, to present uh, you a few uh, worksheets. Uh, but uh, I don't uh, I don't want to read this uh, task because. Uh, I have it on uh, the slide, but I would like to put a special uh, emphasis on the elements uh, of the worksheets, uh, such as materials, instruction, hypothesis, solution, and uh, recapitulation. So, uh, what kinds of worksheets are there? For example, observation chart, experiment chart, measurement char chart, and you have here examples uh, of observation uh, chart. Uh, the children uh, have five questions and uh, they have to answer the question, but uh, not based on the theoretical knowledge, but they have to observe birds in the, uh, their uh, an environment. Uh, so, you know there are five questions, various questions about stork, for example. Uh, I have found uh, observation uh, chart in your materials. Uh, teaching uh, materials. Uh, it is uh, this uh, uh, worksheet how to observe birds and uh, according to this chart you can answer the question what does a good observer need what to look at how to behave what to wear and you can do this with children with children with students Another example from our uh, teaching materials, observation chart, yes. Bird observation chart for a housing settlement, yes. You have the name, the bird picture, and where did you, did you meet it? Another example of worksheet is uh, experiment chart. Look at the main point of, the, of this uh, worksheet. Uh, it is, uh, uh, mm, please look at the materials. In this situation, different kinds of feathers and a task. Uh, in my opinion, uh, this uh, 
task or stages of the task is too, too, too long, uh, should be uh, shorter. Um, but uh, there are uh, tasks for, for children. Then we have a question. What kinds of feeder does a bird own its ability to fly to? What do they look like? It's a problem, uh, it's a kind of problem questions. And we have a hypothesis. Uh, it's a time for children answers. And after children answer, we have something like explanation. How can we explain it? Why doesn't it happen? Uh, according uh, to uh, these materials, uh, we as a teacher, we avoid lead, leading role of uh, teacher. The most important is active attitude of, uh, uh, of uh, students. They can uh, ask questions, they uh, can um, they are interested uh, in something and we try to be with, uh, with them. Uh, I, I would like to uh, show you another method uh, uh, which you can use uh, during uh, process of uh, children uh, education. Uh, and uh, active learning methods uh, are a types of problem solving uh, methods. Uh, it's uh, this, uh, these methods uh, combine knowledge with uh, interesting, uh, interesting forms such as colors, shapes, and various graphic uh, elements. And uh, for example, you can use brine storming. Uh, another uh, name of this method, the market of ideas. Maybe you know this method. Uh, I'm sure you know the Osborne method uh, and session of uh, uh, postponed analysis, uh, techniques of uh, creative uh, thinking. And for example, uh, on this slide, you have a few uh, questions, a few examples uh, of brainstorming questions. How to put money aside for holidays? How do we know that spring has come? How to protect tropical rainforest of Amazonia? Uh, this is a kind of question which uh, started our activity. Um, another uh, method of active learning is timeline. Uh, it is a visual presentation of events on a timeline uh, with uh, fixed uh, time points uh, such as uh, days, weeks, months, uh, years, and centuries. It depends, uh, it depends on the uh, situation. Another method of active uh, learning is the tree of decision making. Uh, this uh, method um, includes the main elements you, you have to remember about. Problem to solve. It's a, a situation uh, which uh, needs to be solved. Choice. I will show you uh, uh, this uh, on the next uh, slide. Choice. After effects. And uh, <clears throat> positive and negative after effects. And the aim. And look at the picture. OK. Look at the picture. Here is a uh, tree of decision. I'm sorry, it's in Polish, but I try to uh, explain you. Uh, first element is a problem to solve. Then you have choice number one and choice number two. 
and you have to find with children after effects, good or bad, positive and negative. And the end, you have uh, the, the aim. And uh, using uh, these uh, methods, you can solve a lot of uh, uh, problems, a lot of uh, questions when children uh, have to decide, have to make decision. Another method of uh, education, of children education, is meta plan. Uh, there are uh, two main uh, parts. First part uh, uh, is a problem to solve according to using, I'm sorry, brainstorming. And second part, question. Uh, we can discuss with uh, children uh, around the, uh, the few questions. What, what should be changed in the field of something? What is the uh, situation like, what should the situation be like, why it is in the situation as it should be like, and conclusions. So uh, you can see that this kind of uh, method, active learning, uh, is a type of method when uh, children have to be active. They have to talk, they have to choose, they have to decide, they have to plan something, they have to uh, decide. I told you about learning uh, uh, by uh, about um, problem solving question. Uh, we can uh, learn by question and we have uh, two types of uh, question. Uh, low order thinking question and higher order thinking question. At this slide you have uh, some information about low order thinking question. Uh, there are a question around uh, who, what, where and, uh, uh, and um, there are a question about facts, contents, and knowledge about uh, organizing knowledge, uh, help, with, help with revision. And you have here a few examples of low order thinking question. Only about question about facts, contents, and knowledge. They are good, but they are not very creative for children. And we can ask, what is this? Where is a bluebird in the picture? When do we have winter? But it isn't interesting questions for children. But I, I have to admit that, for example, in Polish books for children, uh, textbooks, there are a lot of this kind of questions. And it isn't good if you want to help children to be like a researcher, explorer, we have to ask another kind of question. Another kind of question is higher order thinking question. And uh, it is problem question. Uh, for example, what do you think about something? How do you know? We, according to this question, we encourage children to be active. We encourage children to, th to think, to solve the problem, uh, to examine, to find out something. And on this slide, you have examples of this problem question. What is a bird? How to become a good bird watcher? What birds live near human settlements? The, I have used questions from our teaching materials. So there are a lot of uh, high order thinking uh, questions and you, you can use this kind of uh, question. During classes with uh, children, you can use something like a case study. 
analysis and the discussion of a situation and even uh, uh, somebody's attitude and uh, opinions and uh, it's very important to show different points of view uh, different points of view uh, of teacher and pupils and discuss uh, about uh, and discuss about this uh, during uh, case study, we can use questions like who, what, where, uh, we want to show case, reason, result, reflection, because we want to analyze, we want to discuss about something, about uh, uh, situation, about uh, life, about uh, uh, some elements of nature. And here is an uh, example of uh, this kind of situation titled Spring Mag Migration Wanted Poster. And you have here a question who are looking for and children have to write answer the question and write uh, and uh, answer the question question and write an information about who are you looking for uh, you you have to uh, include a brief description of the bird a description of its characteristics size dominant other characteristics. So it's a it good opportunity uh, to be active and it's a good opportunity to be like explorer, uh, like a researcher without main role of a teacher. During our meeting with children we can uh, discuss and uh, discussion is uh, really good uh, method uh, of um, uh, really good method to how to explain uh, some uh, issues uh, and uh, what is important uh, in discussion the most important is introduction uh, what is main topic uh, main question uh, or what is the main problem to solve and uh, we have to find this main topic main question uh, and uh, for us uh, it's important children rights uh, of interest because uh, children are interested in nature and I told you uh, that they often ask a lot of questions and I suggest you uh, use children question because it's a good uh, starting point for a disc discussion uh, with, uh, with them. And for example, I present you some topics for discussion. Once again from our teaching uh, materials. Another uh, good uh, method is uh, mind map. Uh, it's a graphic presentation of a problem or a, a subject uh, and uh, during mind map we have to use scams, drawings, catchwords, phrases, and uh, different kinds of uh, symbols. It uh, uh, depends on uh, children, uh, their uh, ideas. Uh, uh, but in my opinion, uh, this uh, method uh, is uh, a very good tools, tool to systematize new information and show new, show new knowledge. Uh, for example, uh, you want to ask the question, what is a bird? Sorry. And you can present uh, is like this. 
Yes, and uh, children try to find answers uh, for the question in different space of this uh, picture. Uh, they present their own knowledge, their experience, and we know what children know about this subject. And we know what we have to do in this uh, situation. It's very use useful because uh, we don't uh, have to repeat some information which children uh, have about this, uh, this, this topic. And on this slide I present stages of building mind map. First step is a mind topic or problem to solve. Then brainstorm of collecting information. Third step is classification and analysis of information. Fourth uh, step is arrangement of a poster. And very interesting, uh, fifth step is realization and then discussion and uh, evaluation. Uh, and uh, I often use uh, this method when I want to work with uh, children uh, because uh, during the, this, this uh, method, uh, children have a lot of opportunities uh, to discuss, uh, to draw, uh, to ask, uh, to, to do, to be independent. And uh, at the end, I would like to uh, present uh, something what is very interesting uh, for uh, children when they can write own book. Uh, this kind of method is called creative book and uh, together with children uh, we can uh, plan of building your book and for example, it's really easy but very fun uh, for children and very interesting. You need sometimes, you need only four slips of, uh, of, of papers, for example, with uh, different colors. Um, uh, then you can plan your book, what about, uh, uh, for example, uh, what birth, uh, what issue. Uh, you can draw your book and then write text about this uh, issue and at the end you can tell about your book, tell a story. So during this method children really, uh, children can be interested, uh, active and they can then can play. Okay, thank you, thank you for your attention. Thank you.